This is Cruz Roy. Um, I wanted to talk to you about uh, Pat Boondot Lab. Uh, it's Patrick. You can find him on Facebook. He deals with the TRB uh, 2300. Um, I'm still learning from him. He's a good guy. He's got a lot of answers about these batteries if you need be, and he's got the software to do it. Um, these, what, I want to go over a couple of things. These are just my two newest uh, prototypes. This is a 10,000 pulse battery. It's actually designed for a lot bigger DJI drones. And um, <clears throat> I just happened to work it out and it fits in the drone. You've seen the pictures in the video so far of the test startup. But before you put a battery like this in, you gotta do a few uh, code changes or changing how the battery is set up. So like this battery here, yeah, well, to tell you, show you the other one here, this is the 18650. Uh, battery that's complete but again this is lithium ion and this is uh, lipo so two different types of cell character characteristics so I need to change this and the only way to do that is with TRB 2300 which Patrick supplies um, if you contact him you can download it for free and kind of check it out on his website I'll post a link on the YouTube here but um, these are my two prototypes that I haven't had time to test because I got to kind of tweak them a little bit before I throw them in my drone. But let's start with this one. This one I pretty much know it's a Pulse 10,000. It's got 25C rating, which is plenty for the Inspire, even at high speeds. Um, and it has a 5 you know, cell charge rate, which is the same as a TB48. Uh, the C rating on these is a little bit lower charge. I don't want to charge the 18650s too fast, but I did use a uh, stock DJI charger to charge this up. Same thing with this. Uh, you have one of those bigger uh, phantom charges that I use. But um, to talk about this one, what I know about it, it has a low voltage of 3.2 and a high voltage of 4.2, which isn't exactly what DJI uses because your total voltage is 25.2, which is a good voltage. But it, you could probably push these batteries a little more, but these are flown in helicopters and drones and they tend to puff if you uh, go a little bit too high on them. So it's a 25C rating, 5C charge. It's a 6 cell pack where an original TB is a 12 cell, kind of like this. This has 12 cells, but they're 12 18650s. And... Um, but this is a six cell pack, so I don't know if it's going to have better runtime or less runtime because I think DJI gives you 12 smaller packs so you get more runtime. So that would mean each cell in this pack is um, 1,666 milliamp hours. So hasn't been tested yet, like I said. Uh, I'm showing you this, and then we're going to flip over to the laptop and I'm going to open up. Uh, EV2300 and show you that I did change this battery to be uh, 10,000 milliamp hours but I talked to Patrick and there's other things you need to change before you start putting that in your drone and flying it. Uh, there's a lot of videos out there guys with clone software. Uh, first of all you cannot revive a dead battery with them. I've tried and it actually destroyed the battery so don't use anything. TRB has been the most successful Thing that I've had and, and Patrick's very good at explaining everything and um, it just takes some time because he's a very busy guy just like the rest of us but anyways let me open up the laptop and we'll start recording this is already hooked up to the EV 2300 I left the wires on it it's already plugged into the EV 2300 here so we're gonna go to the laptop we're gonna open up TRB I run it as administrator so nothing else comes popping in the way. And like I said, you can download this for free on his website. I'll put the link in my video. But this is also a video just for Patrick to um, take a look at my settings and tell me what I need to change. Um, his time and my time are totally different. It's 626 at night right now for me and he's sleeping. So at least trying to. Uh, let me unseal the pack. It says unsealed, but I'm not sure if I really did it already and I forgot to seal it. Always remember to seal your pack after you look at it.
So we're going to go with the pack is all set. I have the reed running. And if you look right here, design capacity is 10,000 milliamp hours. So this should show up in, um, in the voltage on your uh, telemetry on your, your drone. What I have here is a 3,800 millivolts design voltage. So these are things that I'll probably have to change. I don't know who that was. Um, so there's few things in here that's going to need to be changed. This is telling me each cell, and right now I got a, a higher cell. It's it's actually charging itself, going up. So let me stop reading that. Um, what I'm going to do is go into the BK Tools, and I'm going to read the DF. And this is where you can change stuff. Once you change it, you can hit right DF. But here's all the information and I think where I need to be is fuel gauging alright and this is where I changed it to 10,000 milliamp hours but I think design capacity um, design voltage I think that needs to be changed there's things in here the Qmax and all of that like it says 4250 <clears throat> which I think he told me um, to learn full capacity of the same so these here would be, you know, 10,000. I'm going to change them because I can do it later if I'm wrong. And there's like a cell count in the fuel gauging. Like it could be the 3.8. Well, that's 3.8 would be low voltage anyways. It's 4.5, which DJI's batteries charge at. So th those are things I need to check. Um, so I'm just letting, I'm just scrolling through here. So... Patrick can check out my settings and let me know what I need to do here but there's, there's a ton of stuff that needs to be done here not a ton once you know what you're doing it's easy enough and this gives you all the information you need and the calibration it calibrates once he, he says once it's all set you know I discharge it and charge it back up and the uh, calibration will take over on its own um, but anyways, let me close the BK tools. Uh, well, the data flash, let's go back to the basic, and I'm going to write it. So that's writing the two, the two or three things that I changed is going to write it back on the chip. And I'll check the battery to make sure it's still working. So we're done with this. This battery doesn't have any problems. Of course, it shows repaired. I don't know if this can be changed. Um, it shows you your chip and everything. Uh, we've already gone over this. If someone needs me to do it again with an Inspire. Plus a lot of those clone softwares out there, they only do four cell packs. They're not doing six cell packs. So the bigger birds for DJI are all six cell. You know, even their uh, Inspire 2, you have your, uh, your camera platform. They're all six cell packs. So you need to go higher. And this is the only software that's going to do it for you. And it works very well. Um, so let me close the BK tools and let me seal the pack again this time before I shut it down. The pack is sealed and let me do a read. Alright. So it says 10,000 milliamp hours. I think the design voltage is wrong here. Uh, manufactured date, it's all part of the board. And then the chemistry, too. I don't know if we need to change that. But this is Cruz Roy with the TRB Pat Boom Lab. Uh, I'll put the link where you can download a free copy and kind of try it out. And uh, Patrick's contact information. Don't contact me because I don't know nothing about this. Uh, he's the guy to contact. I just get to test it. But um, this is Cruz Roy. Sorry for the short video tonight. I was trying to catch him before he went to sleep, and I'm out of here.